today's topic uh, is about, first off, how, how's everybody week been going, man? I, I wanted to ask that. I had a rough week, man. Excuse me if, like, my uh, voice sounds a little different, man. I'm getting over a sore throat. Uh, much as you, well, most of you know, I coach basketball, and our last game was a tough one, man. I was yelling at the kids, yelling instructions. It was loud in the gym, yelling at the referees, just yelling. A lot of people think I'm quiet, but when it's something I'm passionate about, I get I get wild and loud. <laughs> but that's our subject. But uh, I want to talk today about investing in yourself. I feel like the biggest investment and the best investment you can make is investing in you. And that could be a myriad of things. It's not always monetary. It could be uh, investing attention to yourself, self-care. You know what I'm saying? Getting a little bit more rest. That's an investment like into your person. You have to do these things to become a better you. But investing in itself, <clears throat> what it what it done for me, what it's done for me, is tremendous. I can remember a time where I just had all these ideas in my head, and I'm like, "This is tough. How am I gonna get it out?" It was just like I just disregarded them. But once I began to put plans into action, then everything fell into place. And a lot of times I ain't have what it took. I can remember when, before I wrote my book. Before that, I, I really was like not so uh, eager to spend money on things that I wanted to do. I, I don't know why. It was just I didn't do that. But investing in me was the biggest thing that has uh, got me to where I want to be. Like even this hat I got on, Dirty Minds Club, that's a self-investment. I ain't made a lot of money doing this, but I'm building brands for me, for my future kids. My nieces and nephews, my little cousins, my family, my legacy. I'm trying to build. And that came with investing in me. <clears throat> this year, I want to go to the therapy. That's a self-investment. I just feel like it's needed. I, I'll pay that cash. People be like, well, you can write in a journal and do that. No, nah, I'll pay that money to go see a professional and get this help that I need because I know I need it. So uh, to really... The key to investing in yourself is you got to feel like it's worth it and you're worth it. You have to. Also, uh, I wanted to talk about like two of the greatest investments I've made. And like people used to ask me a lot about the book thing and what it took and all of that. And when I first started, I didn't know what it took. I stumbled across what I was like, it's not even a stumble. I was on Instagram and I saw women had a publishing uh, course. It was like a boot camp for self-publishing uh, authors. And I was like, I got to do this. I don't care how much it is. Da, 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 da. It was like $600, but it was the best investment I made because it got me to the point where I was able to put out my book. I was able to know what it took. I was able to know how to go get an ISBN and find editors and do these things. So that was one of my greatest investments. I, I don't even know if I've seen a return on it completely, but in my mind I have because of where I'm at now. I, from where I started to where I'm at now, it, it, was, it, was, it was great for me. So I would say, like, man, no matter the cost, even if you ain't got it all, the all, the, all at once, you got to put that bread up for yourself. You got to. Who else going to bet on you? How can you ask somebody else to bet on you if you going to bet on you? Bet on yourself, man. And another uh, huge investment I made, and it wasn't even a lot of money, $150 to the B agency and becoming your brand. Now, this was special, but it was like it was a selection process. Becoming your brand university, uh, Brittany Brown, she's a... Amazing PR lady in the city of Detroit. And I was a part of the first class of Becoming Your Brand. And it was way worth the investment of $150. It was well beyond that. Like, I got so much uh, 
insight on me. I and then going into it, I didn't know. I didn't expect that. I didn't know what uh, the class would be about. I just felt like, okay, it's good to be around these people that know a little bit about branding and personal development. So I was like, I'm in. But you had to be selected. So once I was selected, uh, it was a whole process where they uh, showed our headshots. So it was a big thing. It's like it made me a little more known as an author, as a person, as a personality and a brand. But what really uh, helped was being there and going to the class. And I remember in the class, she pointed out and asked me, like, who are you? Who are you? Who are you? That junk rung in my head. Who are you? And it just, it was, it was profound because <clears throat> at the time I didn't have an answer. And I know who I am, but you know what I'm saying? Being singled out in front of everybody's like, uh, I'm here, I'm, I'm me. <laughs> but, uh, it was bigger than that. So I would say, like, that was about seven. That was in May. So, what, seven, eight months, seven months ago? And where I am now from where I was at that point is tremendous. So I feel like that investment paid off tenfold. I found my voice just from somebody. Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> Being around people, sharing their stories, hearing how they express themselves and how they build their brands. I don't even know if I'm going off topic, but I just felt like I had to share that because that has propelled me to who I am and where I am today. And it's only going to get greater, man. I, I feel good because I feel like I'm building. There's been so many times where I feel like I was in the dark not knowing what I wanted to do or who I am, what I wanted to be. And now like to like have it unfold is tremendous so i i would what i'm gonna close out with is uh take make the necessary investments in yourself it's tax season we got a bunch of money that people gonna have that they're gonna blow on things make a self-investment go take that class that you always wanted to take go uh book that trip go out of town and see something different buy that camera you always wanted Get that uh, clothing line started. Go invest. If you're, an, if you're a business person or a brand or an author or whatever, go invest in some headshots and a photo shoot. Uh, pay the price. It's time to start investing in ourselves. That's all I got, man. I hope y'all have a great week. Uh, anybody, if you like this video, comment, like, subscribe, share. How that me? I, I'm up for discussion, though. Like, I, I do this because I want people to talk back to me. I don't want it to be just like social media where we click like or we view it for five minutes and, or 30 seconds or a minute. And then, like, come on, let's have some interaction. Let's let's build. I want to build. So, uh, like I said, invest in yourself. I hope everybody have a great week. And uh, peace. I'll be back next week with another special. Thank you again for watching.